guys it's Charmette welcome back to my channel today I'm here with a get ready with me video I decided to do a talk through today since I don't do these often however when I'm getting ready I need to have music on and I do have my music on so I'm hoping that it's not too loud because if it is then it's just gonna be a voiceover so let's jump right into it um, I already have my eyebrows done I'll leave a video to how I do my eyebrows down below, but I just used my ColourPop um, pomade in the color black and brown, and then I outlined them with my Kat Von D. I outlined the bottom with my Kat Von D Locket Concealer. Um, as far as moisturizer, I'm trying out, actually I'm gonna be trying out a couple of new products in this video, but I bought a new moisturizer. I have combination skin, but more on the dry side. So I normally use the Pons, and I really like this. Um, it leaves my skin feeling really moisturized. However, like in the summertime, it makes my makeup get a little oily because it is heavy. So I just picked this up today. Um, this is the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture Moisturizer. And it's for combination skin, so it moisturizes dry areas and controls shine and oily areas. So I wanted to give this a try. Um, I'm still gonna use my Pons at nighttime, but if I wanna do makeup, I'm gonna try using this one to see if it helps control some of the oiliness um, that occurs when I do wear makeup. So I'm gonna keep it fairly simple. So I'm gonna start with my Lorac uh, Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. And True love brings salvation back to me. With every tear came redemption. And then I'm gonna take a little of my locket tattoo concealer. So I'm going for a golden type of look today. Um, so I'm going to go into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm going to mix Cypress, Umber, and Real Gar. And my laptop is on one. So now I'm going to use my a ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Get Lucky. It's just a gold color. And I'm just going to pop that onto my lid using my finger. That's pretty much it for my eyes. I'm going to add liner and mascara. I'm gonna do the rest of my face first. So I'm gonna prime my face with my Becca Evermatte primer. And for foundation, I'm going to use I've been seeing this a lot, but I've never actually tried it. It is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And I got it in the color Coco. Long lasting foundation, never dull, never greasy. So we'll see. And to apply it, I'm gonna be using a damp Real, Techni Real Techniques uh, blending sponge. I haven't bought drugstore foundation in such a long time because when I first started getting into makeup, I could never find a color that works for me. And you can never swatch them at the drugstore. So I don't like that about drugstore foundation, but I just wanted to give it a try. Um, so yeah, we'll see. And like I said, it's in the color Coco. So we'll see how it is. I think it's fine. 
And I'm real iffy with foundations. Like, I'll go through phases where I'll like them a lot, and then I just won't wear them at all. And now I'm kind of in the phase where I've been liking them again. So, okay, now for concealer. Like I said, I wanted this to be a glowy kind of look. So for concealer, I'm going to use my Kat Von D, which I use all the time. But I'm also going to mix it with this L'Oreal True Match Liquid Glow Illuminator. And it's a primer, primer and highlight. Um, you can, I guess, wear it as a highlight. You can mix it with your foundation. You can mix it with your concealer. I've tried like using it as a primer before, and I couldn't really tell a difference, but I'm going to try today using it mixed with my concealer and see how that works out for me. And this is in the color Golden W101. Some of my which I need some more. I could tell a real difference. But roll with it. Okay, and so this is another new product that I picked up. I've seen this in a couple of videos before. Um, but I didn't realize that it was a drugstore product and I was randomly walking around just browsing um Walgreens and I was like oh I didn't know that they sell this here so I'm gonna use this to this is the airspun loose powder loose face powder I'm gonna use this um, to set my highlight and it's just a translucent powder now I'm a little scared because it is fairly light and it's translucent I normally use my uh, Benai powder in Topaz because it does have more of a color to it, and I'm dark skinned, so translucent powders kind of scare me, but we're gonna try it out. It smells like baby powder. And I'm just using my same sponge that I used before. See what I'm saying? I'm gonna blend it out with my Cover FX face powder. This is the mineral foundation, the pressed mineral foundation in the color one in 100. And if y'all been following me, y'all know that I was like, I swore by the Mac Mineralized Skin Finish, but there's not a Mac close to me, so I would hate like having to go out my way to get one when I would rent, run out or order one. And so. I was like, why don't I try to find something at Sephora? Last time I tried to find the face powder at Sephora, like, I could only find one color that matched me and I wasn't crazy about it as far as powders go, and that was a couple years ago. Um, but recently, when I went back, I found this, and so far I like it. It's light to medium coverage, um, which I like. I don't like full coverage stuff, so... You know, I find it very comparable to my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And I don't contour my nose. Um, I used to, but I feel like my nose would look funny. So normally I'll highlight the bridge of my nose and then I'll just use my face powder to kind of just darken the sides and that's all I do. I'm just gonna dust away the translucent powder. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't look bad in the mirror. But well, I'm scared about the trash though. If you guys use the um the air spun powder before, let me know how you guys like it. I'm gonna apply some blush. This is the Milani powder blush in the color Coral Cold.
for highlight, I'm going to use this NYX uh, blush highlighter. It's in the color Beach Babe. I bought this a while ago and I forgot about it and I recently found it and I've been wearing this out. I usually go for a more golden highlight, but this one it has like, it's like a rose goldy bronzy kind of color and I really like it. I don't know how I like it with this gold gold ocean. So I'm really not feeling this gold on my lid. I kinda like it. So I'm gonna take this blush and go over that gold on my lid. So now I'm going to use my e.l.f. eyeliner in mascara and I'm going to be using the Benefit Their Real mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras. So for on to the lips. I just picked this up today. This is the NYX. Uh, lingerie that lip line matte of lippies and it's in the color honeymoon so thought I was gonna wear this I don't know then I also have my lime crime in Salem originally I thought about this but when I tried it on earlier it looked a little gray and I'm not sure if I like it with this I don't know really warm like it Salem looks really warm on me like a reddish brown brick brown I guess I'll start by lining my lips I'm gonna use my NYX lip pencil in the color what color is this espresso So I'm going to try the NYX color first. If I don't like it, then I'll just go over it with a uh, Salem. Which I think. Like I like it, but I don't like it with the rest of my face. I can't tell if I like it or not. I'm just gonna go with Sable. I don't know if I like this one either. All right, guys. <laughs> That's the final look. Um, for outfit, I have on a pair of jeans. And I have on this off-the-shoulder sweater. Um, from boohoo.com let me know what you guys think and I will see you guys next video I'll see you on next video bye